Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be cooking some Boston butt on the pit barrel cooker. Now, the first time I did a Boston butt on a pit barrel cooker, I hung it. This time, we're just going to lay it on the rack, okay? Uh, the Boston butt that we have here is about eight pounds or so. I've already trimmed it, gotten rid of some of the silver skin and the little arteries that hang off the side sometimes when you get one of these. And um, we trim a little bit of the money muscle up. What I want to try to do different this time is normally I just pull the whole thing but this time I want to try to actually cut off the money muscle at some point during the cook uh, and, and to slice it just to see if I can do it okay uh, just this kind of steps in me learning how to do those type of things uh, on my way to possibly doing a competition in, uh, next month or, or uh, sometime in uh, October okay uh, so but as you can see here here's our money muscle right here and um, I've trimmed a, a little divot in here just to kind of separate it out from the body a little bit but it's still attached to the to the pork butt so um, we're going to see if we can get I know it's a small money muscle but we're going to go ahead and see if we can get it off anyway and kind of slice it instead okay the rub that we're going to be using today is a rub that I picked up when I was down in Kansas City called Simply Marvelous. This pepper cow. This pepper cow is real good. I love this stuff. It's got a nice peppery flavor to it, so it should make a very, very good bark. And the binder we're going to be using is going to be olive oil, okay? Now, I, I normally sauce my um, pulled pork at the end, and uh, I never really had a vinegar-based uh, sauce to use, okay? Uh, we've always used something like Sweet Baby Rays or something along those lines. However, uh, Douglas from Carolina Q sent us uh, three of their sauces, okay? They have an Eastern North Carolina Vinegar Sauce. They have a uh, Carolina Sweet Hickory Sauce. And they also have a uh, Southern Mustard Sauce, okay? I, I'll put the links and stuff to their website down in the description block. I watched James go over and aim them and claim them. Uh, used this Eastern North Carolina vinegar sauce and it really intrigued me. He said it was so good he was actually drinking it out of the bottle. So we'll see exactly how good this stuff is, but we're going to use that as our finishing sauce on our pulled pork, okay? Uh, another thing that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be uh, doing a second test on the uh, Bluetooth uh, thermometer the Meteor company uh, sent us, okay? Last time we just tested the distance of the Bluetooth. This time we're going to... Uh, uh, use it uh, cloud based okay and Wi-Fi based uh, so what we're gonna do is instead of just having it cooked directly to my cell phone we have an old Samsung 4 that's been sitting upstairs we charged it up I loaded the app on it we're gonna use this as the bridge so we're gonna stick this uh, the thermometer in the meat we're gonna keep this out near the smoker and act as the bridge and then we're gonna see just how far away we can get with the other cell phone and continuously monitor our temperature and time okay so uh let's go ahead and do the short prep work and uh we'll get this bad boy on the pbc so hey don't go nowhere guys so we're out here on the patio now and um, before we go ahead and fire up the PBC um, something I wanted to say uh, I was watching uh, Justin uh, baby bag maniac the other day uh, his video of the 400 degree uh, brisket cook with Harry Sue I'll put the i-card up here so you guys can check it out but uh, in watching that video um, I, Harry said something that was really interesting that I wanted to try today he said that in order to get a good smoke ring or good smoke your wood chunks need to be underneath your charcoal normally what I've been doing in the past is putting the chunks just on top or pushing them down into the coals but 
he said that if the wood chunks are sitting on top of charcoal, all they're doing is burning. So, and they should be smoldering in order to give you a uh, decent smoke ring and decent smoke flavor. So we're gonna be using some peach wood today and we're gonna be using kings for charcoal. And we're gonna go ahead and set up our basket for a long cook, uh, but I'm gonna put the peach wood down first. So, hey, let's go ahead and get that done. All right, guys, so we're done with our cook. Uh, the uh, Boston butt has been uh, resting, uh, wrapped up in this towel and in a dry cooler for the last two hours. Smells great, man. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can actually, I mean, this is really still hot, so we're gonna see if we can actually separate the money muscle. So we're gonna see if we can get the money muscle sliced up into medallions, okay? So let me go ahead and slide this over so I can open this up and give you a close-up look at what this is gonna look like, okay? Actually, I assume that this part right here is the money muscle still. So let's see if we can get this off here without tearing anything. Let's see if I can get into that crevice. Well, I think I overcooked the money muscles because it's falling apart. So I guess instead of being able to do that, I'm going to go ahead and just pull this pork. So we're going to have to practice more on actually getting the money muscle done right, especially if I'm going to do some competitions. But I tell you what, that bone came out real clean. Look at there. So let's go ahead and pull some pork. Oh, man, this is nice. Falls right apart. But remember, the longer you let this thing rest, the better it pulls, believe me. Um, because it's getting late, it's about 11 o'clock at night now. We started this cook at 12 noon. Um, I normally let these rest for about four hours before I pull them. And when you do that, I mean, they just fall apart. But this one's falling apart also. All right, so the pulled pork is real nice, moist. Look at that. All right, let's, let's taste a bit of it. That, that tastes pretty good. I remember we didn't inject it at all, but it does taste real good. It's moist, juicy. It's got some great pork flavor to it, okay? 
taste a bit of the bark where we use that pepper cow from uh, Simply Marvelous. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah. I love that. They hit a black pepper that that pepper cow gives the dish, okay? And the last thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and try that Carolina Q Virginia sauce. So let me go ahead and open that up right quick. Woo, that, that smells strong. Strong vinegar thing. Okay, I'm not going to hit the whole thing. I'm just going to hit part of it. All right. Let's mix that up a little bit. And now uh, let's see what we got. So this is the Eastern North Carolina vinegar sauce. Mm. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. Like I said, I really hadn't had a, a decent vinegar sauce to try out, but mm, that definitely gives it a great flavor. That tastes very good. Douglas, thank you very much for sending us this. This tastes fantastic. Guys, I'll put the link down in the description block if you're interested in buying some of this. It's a great product, okay? Okay, um, uh, the Meteor thermometer that we tested out today in the uh, Wi-Fi and cloud configuration, it worked very well. I was able to go all over the house, all in the front yard and everywhere. I was able to keep my connection with the bridge. The only problem I ran into is the bridge ran out of power. Okay, so once the bridge ran out of power, it tried to go back to the Bluetooth connection. I was too far away, so so we had to finish our cook with another thermometer. But as long as your bridge is fully charged or plugged in, you should be able to monitor your cook uh, from a very good distance away from the cooking apparatus, okay? Well, that's all we have time for tonight. You see this luscious pulled pork here. We're going to go ahead and, and get this... Uh, finish pulled and seasoned and stuff and put this up and tomorrow we'll put this on some Kaiser rolls and have some great uh, pulled pork tomorrow so all right uh, hey if you guys are interested in the pit barrel cooker it performed great today I'll put the contact information for the pit barrel cooker guys down in the description block and down here on the screen fantastic product it cooked fabulous like I said you don't always have to hang stuff on it you can just use the racks and that's what we did today with this pulled pork and it worked out fan fantastic okay well that's it like we always say where there's smoke there's fire and if it's fire then damn it there just might be a barbecue there man some great pulled pork and, and one more thing great smoky flavor so i think that technique that harry sue was talking about as far as covering the uh the wood chunks really works well okay hey as always hey we'll see you guys around the smoker